Welcome back guys to another episode of Airgun Depot's Under Pressure. I'm Cameron. And today we're going to be taking a look at a really cool little product from Advanced Novelty Tech. Now, if you're like me, you love shooting CO2 powered pistols. But these little buggers are always going empty on me. They freeze, you know, you run low on CO2. They're no fun. So Advanced Novelty Tech has a really neat solution that they've come up with to the problem of having to use uh, disposable CO2 cartridges. Um, this is the CO2 and HPA bulk fill conversion kit from Advanced Novelty Tech that works with well over a hundred different models of air pistols as well as airsoft guns. We're going to go ahead and show you how you install it today on one of these XBG pistols from Umarex uh, and then we'll go ahead and test it out and uh, show you how it works. So stay tuned guys, it's going to be a great little episode. install our advanced novelty tech kit there's just a few tools that we're going to need we're going to need some teflon tape a pair of pliers or an open end wrench set and either a small allen key or a punch a punch is probably going to be the best bet but i didn't have one on hand so i'm just using a small allen key uh, and then of course you're going to need your advanced novelty tech kit now before installing this, you're going to want to make sure that your gun is compatible with the kit. On Advanced Novelty Tech's website, there's a list of well over 100 different guns that this kit will work with. So you can go ahead and convert your gun to bulk fill. So we'll go ahead and get started. Again, we're going to be installing it today on this XBG pistol from Umarex. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you remove the magazine and that you degas the pistol and make sure that there's no CO2 still in the gun. We've already done that. This gun's completely empty. Then you can go ahead and remove your gun's uh, CO2 port on here. It's hinged, but it'll give you a little bit more room to work uh, while you're working on the gun. The first thing that we'll need to do is go ahead and remove the pressure key here on the pistol. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to need to drift a small pin out and then go ahead and just thread this out of the pistol. So I'll do that now. Again, I'm gonna be using an Allen wrench to push this pin out. You can use a, a small punch though as well. Um, so you just go ahead and find your pin and you should usually just be able to push it out with a little bit of force. It'll come out. Um, if not, you can use a small like brass hammer to tap it out. Um, you'll go ahead and remove the top of the pressure key. There's a small spring as well. Um, and you'll go ahead and set that aside. You'll want to retain those parts in case you decide to convert your pistol back to regular CO2 cartridges. Then all it is is a matter of unthreading the threaded body of the pressure key from the gun. You can usually do that with just your fingers and it'll come right out. <clears throat> then you're going to go ahead and open up your kit. Inside your kit you'll find this bolt that has been center drilled. This is called the tech bolt. So you're gonna go ahead and take that out and you're going to thread that back through where the pressure key was. And the thread pattern should match up. Like I said, as long as the gun is on the list of compatible guns on ANT's website, it should just match right up. And this can be a little bit tricky trying to get that bolt in there. Um, one of the things that Advanced Novelty Tech has done is they've actually put a, uh, a split in the end of this bolt. So if you're having trouble with it, you can actually grab yourself a flathead screwdriver and you can actually twist that bolt from the back side. All right, so we've got our, uh, our tech bolt installed now. All we need to do is go ahead and install our um, foster fitting which is in our kit so we'll go ahead and remove the foster fitting and then this is where the Teflon tape comes on you're gonna need a little bit of Teflon around the uh, tech screw just to make sure that you get a good airtight seal you just need a little bit to wrap around the threads of the tech bolt this is to give us a good airtight seal um, so you go ahead and just wrap that around and then I like to take the end of my punch or my Allen key and just make sure that the uh, path for the airflow is clear. So sometimes that Teflon tape will build up a little bit on that opening. So we'll go ahead and screw on the foster fitting now. And you'll have to uh, kind of put some pressure on 
the tech bolt to screw it on. This is where it really helps if you have a set of open end wrenches to make sure you get the tech bolt screwed down tight. Now, this isn't going to thread down all the way. You still want it to be sticking out just a little bit so that you can connect your quick disconnect on there. Alrighty, the last, very last step on our install before we go ahead and connect up our HPA bulk fill converted pistol is we need to install the CO2 cartridge adapter. In your kit, that's going to look just like a CO2 cartridge, just as machined out of aluminum. Before you install it, you need to install this rubber gasket here on the back. They should just press right into the end of your CO2 adapter. And this is going to sit between the tech bolt and your adapter. So you'll go ahead and drop this into the gun just like you would a normal CO2 cartridge. And then you'll thread the tech bolt assembly tight up against the gasket just like if you were going to be putting a regular CO2 cartridge in your gun. Um, and you don't need to like wrench it down so tight that it's smashing the gasket, you just need to get them snug so that no air will leak between the two. And that's your last step. All you need to do is close your CO2 port door and you're ready to go ahead and connect your pistol up to a bulk fill air source and try it out. Alrighty guys, so we've got our Ninja Air Tank, we've got our Air Venturi remote line, and we've got our ANT adapter all installed to our XBG pistol. I've got a magazine here full of BBs. We're gonna go ahead and insert the magazine. We're gonna turn our air on. And let's go ahead and uh, test fire this thing and see how it does. Got ourselves a little sticky target down there. Not really shooting for accuracy, just wanna make sure it works. And we're out. You can tell just by the sound of it, no matter how hard and how fast you shoot, you still don't lose pressure like you do with a, a, a CO2 uh, cartridge. The CO2 cartridges, you know, you start shooting fast, they start to freeze up, you're gonna lose some velocity. But with the big bulk fill, you don't really have to worry about that. This is a great little mod, guys. It's easy to do. If you're a fan of uh, action type pistols, then it's a great way to extend your shooting fun a little bit. You can spend some more time pulling triggers and you don't have to spend so much time switching out CO2 cartridges. Really easy to do and it's available from airgundepot.com. Guys, hope you really like this episode. Be sure to tune in next time and we'll see you then. <laughs>